right, everybody, welcome back. And we'll just jump right into part three here. Jump. So the mountain's about to open in about 30 minutes. So we got, I think, just enough time to practice the two, almost three lessons we're gonna go over right now, okay? It's gonna be the C turn first. And then once we feel good with the C turn, we're gonna jump into the S turn. Hopefully, after you master the S turn, we'll focus on linked turns, okay? Just want to say congrats. I know I've got a few comments that this has been working for some people. That's great to hear. Always appreciate the feedback. It takes persistence, okay? And it does help sometimes if you got a buddy to help you with this. But I'll be your buddy for now. All right, we're good and strapped up. So, what did we finish up with last time? Falling leaf? We also did what? The traverse? And then we finished up with the J turn. Now, I want you to remember those tilt and twist movements. Those tilt and twist movements. That's what we're gonna be using today for the C turn, C turn, and then the S turn, okay? And then hopefully link turns eventually, okay? So C turns a lot like the J turn, okay? What we're gonna be doing here, just like the J, we're gonna point the board straight, and we're gonna try to turn it this way first, okay? Remember, this is where twist takes place. Okay? And this is where tilt takes place. So here's our J, or backwards J, all right? Then we need to bring it back around to the other edge of the board, okay? Right here, you can see, that's our C turn, okay? Whoa! So if we twisted the board here to get it to go to a direction, what do you think we're gonna do here? What? We are gonna use that board performance twist, okay? So you can come almost to a stop if you feel comfortable, or if you don't feel comfortable just yet. You come here, slow it way, way down, okay? You don't wanna be coming into this too hot. Twist, the board's gonna wanna come straight down again, and then tilt. Okay, we're up and ready for the C turn. So first we're gonna twist it, right, to go straight. A little twist. We're gonna twist it back and tilt. That's our J. Now we need to twist it back to the left side. So we're gonna put our front foot down, back foot up. It's gonna twist it back to my toe edge, right? Let's go down here. Just like do it, you do the J turn first, and you bring it back around to the other edge of the board for a C turn, okay? Using twist and tilt. Those are C turns, okay? You stop right after the second turn. One thing I do want to mention is you're learning, you're gonna to wanna to be naturally like all the way on your back leg, whatever your back leg is, okay? You gotta to try to fight that mentally. Think of a front wheel drive car, okay? Front, the front wheels are steering that car. You gotta think of your front leg, okay? Is steering this board. You want weight up on that front knee. If you got your weight all the way, you get your weight all the way back here and you're trying to make a turn. 
okay? You're liable to fall, okay? Might be a cool tail press for a little while. Yeah. Woo! But just think about that, all right? It's gonna be tough at first. You wanna keep the weight, not all your weight, but most of the weight up on your front leg, all right? After you master that C turn, then we're gonna try to link in one more turn, which is gonna make it a full S turn, okay? So, work on that. I'm gonna hike back up. So you feel good with the C turn now. We're pretty much ready to do an S turn. If you made it this far, so far, give yourself a pat on the back. I'll give you a little clap. This takes a lot of work. I'm sure if you made it this far, you have taken some tumbles and some falls. And I hope you're starting on greens, or at least flat terrain. That will help, okay? So, without further ado, the S turn, all right? You already know the mechanics and the board performances, what to do. Tilt and twist, okay? That's the basis. Remember to keep weight up on that front leg, right? So let's break this down, okay? These points are where we're gonna be twisting the board, okay? And these points, we're gonna be tilting. So what we start with was the J, right? That's where we twist, tilt, bring it back around for the C turn, right? Twist, twist, tilt, okay? And then bring it back around one more time for the S turn, okay? Same thing, twist, board goes straight for a little, and tilt. Okay, be very careful here. You don't want to get overconfident. Bust your butt or your face, okay? Oh no! Go slow, take your time. Just about wraps up the whole lesson. Now, one thing we haven't gone over is actually me videoing getting on the chairlift, okay? Skating, gliding. It's about nine o'clock. Mountain's about to open. So we jump on for a hot lap. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. want to ride under the chairlift where people are because you might drop stuff poles and who knows You got kids or whatever the reason may be. You can always pull the bar down. Woo! Okay. Away we go. 
All right, you know, so it's kind of cool if you're new to the area. There's usually a map of the trails and whatnot. Okay, right now we are way down here at the Quicksilver Lift. Okay. Whoa. We're gonna ride it up. We're gonna try to link some turns on some fresh corduroy. There's Ballet Hill. That's where we've been practicing for part two and this part, part three. All right, so we're getting close to the end here. This is when everyone gets nervous, especially my lessons. First time on the chairlift, getting off. On a snowboard, you're probably gonna fall, okay? But just try to remember and stay calm. What are you doing with that other foot, right? You wanna make sure the board is pointed straight so when you get off, right, you don't want it sideways. You're just gonna fall forward, the chair is gonna kick you. So, real simple, the board just goes straight, so get yourself sideways a little bit, right? Other foot's gonna go right on the board, and you can use your hands to push yourself up, okay? Let's lift this bar up, whoop, whoop, whoop. The OS bar for, oh, safety. That easy, and then get out of the way, okay? You'll probably fall your first time, that's okay. Your second or third or fourth. It's like anything, you practice it enough, you'll get it. <laughs> okay, so I recommend a green trail, obviously, for your very first time getting off the chairlift. And if you don't feel comfortable, you know, jumping right into those C turns and S turns, whole new world, take a couple steps back, okay? Sometimes you gotta take two steps back to go forward, okay? Yeah, like, oh, folks. Take a couple steps back, okay? Sometimes you gotta take two steps back to go forward, okay? So, maybe we'll warm up with just a couple of falling leaves. Get used to that heel side, the direction. If you look and see, the, the hill sloped like this, it's not so even. It's called the fall line. The fall line. All right, so. Then we traverse. I'm gonna traverse a little to the left here, okay? I'm gonna know if I turn to the right, the fall line's to the right, I'm probably gonna pick up more speed, so slow it down, okay? Just get comfortable being out here. be tough trust me you're gonna end up oh let me slow down here you're gonna end up all the way on one side of the trail or the other you're like what the heck's going on what the heck's going on what the heck's going on remember think about the fall line the, fall line. the way the mountain sloped okay and think about the tools that you have in your toolbox to get away from that when you need to you know you have the traverse which is very helpful i'm traversing right now all right Let's slip in a few J-turns. Maybe a couple C-turns. Bring it back around. Twist and tilt, we'll twist. Tilt. Twist it back. We'll see. Feeling good. Maybe go for an S. Keep it in control, right? it down okay and be aware of the fall line okay you can, you can 
know what you're doing to the board, but also know what's going on around you. And people. Right now I'm crossing left. Look over your shoulder, just like if you were driving on the road. Okay, so now that wraps up part three. If you take anything away from part three, go slow, okay? The C turn and the S turn, really easy to catch an edge and bust your butt or face. Oh no! So go slow. If you got a friend that's experienced, go with a friend, maybe they can kind of help hold one hand. I highly recommend that until you start feeling really comfortable. And this won't be the end of the lessons. If you guys enjoy these, I appreciate it a lot. I hope they're helping you. I'm thinking maybe we'll get into some tricks, maybe some small parks down the road. They still haven't built them yet. Just have the kind of the larger parks. We'll progress to that maybe by the end of the season. And if uh, you like what you see, if it's helping, or you just, you know, don't mind tuning in, feel free to hit that subscribe button. 